Hello, ladies and gentle people. Hello. Welcome to Kaleidoscope Dynasty Challenge, Cruise to the King, episode eight. Ready? We're still alive. Sort of. Sort of. Um, yeah, it's still a mess as well. They're still infidels in the land. They're still infidels in the land. Um, and um, it's still a mess. But uh, we're still alive, and that's that's the important part, I think. <laughs> we're holding on. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're holding on to be alive. Yeah, I'm being sieged in Limousin. Let's see what they want. They want bourbon. They want bourbon! The infidels want to get drunk. Where is bourbon? Um, yeah, bourbon is part of the Byzantine Empire. That's something I didn't really understand. Because bourbon is in... Uh... Aquitaine, which is part of the Byzantine Empire, so why isn't the Emperor involved in this? That's what I was wondering. Ah, maybe it was conquered by the Byzantine Empire while their war was still going on? No, because then the Casus Belli would be invalid the moment someone else can conquers it. Oh my gosh, I don't know! It's a, I, f I find it unlikely that the game makes a mistake, though, because it... I also checked the... Oh! I see what it is. Limousin is part of the Duchy of Bourbon. And if you declare war, a holy war for a particular duchy on someone, you get everything that ruler has of that duchy. So when they win this war, they will only gain Limousin. Which is a part of your land. Wait, the dude in Limousin is the... He's not the Count of Bur uh, the Duke of Bourbon. No, he's not the Duke, but they declared holy war for the Duchy against Middle Francia. Uh... So they will get everything Middle Francia owns of that Duchy, which is Limousin. <sighs> which is mine. Yeah. <laughs> That is a thing. Those infidels have it in for me! It is a thing that is currently going on. Oh, I'm losing all the land. So, alright. Alright. It's fine. I can't marry my heir because he's somewhere else. I can't do anything! I can't do anything! And that's why I called my stream Let the Great Wait Begin. Let's have to see where the dice roll and go with that. So if you want to see action, you gotta go to Astral Seer stream. <laughs> I'll give I'll give out a follow command there. <laughs> Sorry for the map uh, shift, but yeah. Astral Seer. I am not sure if there is a lot of action here as well. Well, probably more than mine since I can't do anything. Literally. That is true. I don't have this the skills to deal with this situation, I really don't. <laughs> Let's see how many troops you have. You have a maximum of 900 to 1000. 1000 ish troops. Mine is Limousin. Yes, mine is Limousin. Who has 480. About 300. You will have 700. Okay. And Tiernet has 600 troops. And no allies he can pull the war. I will be a tight call. Yes, but I'll just feed you money and then uh, you'll get some mercenaries and then you kick his ass. Yeah. Just wait and see what you're mm. gonna need over at yours because I'm gathering yeah. money. At the moment, not much because I'm gathering money. 
I'm gathering money too. I'm gathering money and hoping the uh, Emperor will like me. My diplomat is hard at work and making him like me. And just as I say that, boom, improve relations. He is now at zero of me. <laughs> well, that's better than minus. He likes me exactly zero. I guess he's very indifferent about you. Yes. Defeat. Get that out of the way. Genoa. Genoa, Genoa. Right. <laughs> you got a lot of gold from mercenaries, though, because you're a freaking trade republic. Trade republics are scary when you try yes. to fight them. We did. We did watch Phil do that, I suppose. I believe. Yes. He got creamed. Oh, Venezuela is still a nice target, though. Tied up in another war. What is your maximum amount of troops? Venezuela. Nine hundred. Or Venice. I mean, not Venezuela. Venice. The, uh, the other trade company on the other side of the sea. And if I can get them, I get their money as well. And then it's my trade company versus Genoa's trade company. Which gives me more possibilities of killing them. Hey, Scrodo, what up? How are you doing? Who has more viewers? I have no idea. My viewers are hidden. My viewer numbers, that is. I don't actually marry my dude, but I can only cherry pick from two people that I can't control. Wait, a courtier in Toulouse? Okay, okay. Found myself a loophole. Let's invite some people up. Whoa! My Indeed. duke is going for Genoa. You dare, sir. You dare. You super there. If I offer to help my leash with titles, would I be able to rearrange mine? <laughs> um, if you offer uh, your leash help with titles, you get, and he, if he accepts, uh, you get to choose. He's like, I want this title distributed. And then you can choose uh, to either give it to someone, a random person, or based on relations. I don't know how the person gets chosen. Uh, give it to someone random in your house. Again, I don't know how that person gets chosen your dynasty. Or give it to yourself. But you cannot say which title he uh, gives away, basically. Just like, here's a title, what do I do with it? And then he can either follow your advice or go against it. Depending on how he likes you. Fair enough. David Dantes, there you go. Just temperate, brave, and lustful. I mean, that's actually something we may need. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, though. Yes, marry her. Marrying the relative of a king? Okay. How's life going? Life's going great, Scrotum. Life's going great. Life's going Let's awesome. Let's marry Work my and Doing all the things. Hey, Scrodo, what up? <coughs> Wait, you married a relative of a king? That's, well, proposed a marriage. It's not accepted yet. Hey, hey, hey. Start the assassination game. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Evil astral chuckle. Evil astral. Yeah, no, life is going the way it's going. It's actually going pretty well, I should say, after today. I such a suggestion. So let's investigate. She is the Chancellor. Heir to he is. Wait, what? Wait, who did you marry? Uh, I'm trying to 
to, to, to figure that out. So she is, she apparently had, I don't know, she has no family according to the, her, her stat, which is odd. <coughs> Because I got press, I got prestige from marrying the relative of a king, Pepinia. Maybe I should put her last name in the people finder. Who did you try to marry? I did not try. I married Martinga de Pepinia. Pepin. Oh. De Pepin. Yeah. Work is crazy right now. Ah, nice. Refuses the proposal, Maximus. Oh my god. What up, dude? No it's idea. Awesome. The game is completely confused. She's just randomly royal. <laughs> it's a new house. She is like the new house, basically. Or a new house. Hey Magnus! <laughs> what are you doing? I need that! <laughs> Don't refuse it! <laughs> Don't refuse the proposal! <laughs> Clicks! Finally got my heir married. And now I just need to wait for him to have a son and then start training them to be like intrigue masters. Masters of intrigue. I mean like Varus and Littlefinger combined. And there is some Tyrion thrown in there. Except for the being a dwarf. I I'm sorry, I don't want to be discriminatory, <laughs> but the stat in the game is not good. <laughs> in real life, it's fine. In the game, not so much. Yeah. Exactly. The game is being discriminatory. But it's a game in the in the medieval times, and the medieval times weren't uh, as progressive as today's. There is that. There is that. So how are you, Magnus? Just hanging out with some Crusader Kings too. Hanging out with the kings. All right, the year 860. I'm being eaten alive. By infidel. Now you, you should just focus on, on uniting what's left of um, Brittany. <laughs> yeah. I'll feed you some gold for mercenaries and stuff like that. I think I'm doing good by the time they conquered the... Uh... <coughs> by the time they conquered Limousin, I will have quite some money. Why are they actually not doing anything? It's 311k. <laughs> oh. Hanging out with a fishy who happens to be playing CK2. Like every Friday. Every Friday. Creatures of habit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is my only really scheduled thing on my stream going on right now. Oh. Pope Benedictus has been succeeded. Long live Pope Martinus. Do they like the Pope? They like the Pope. Who is paranoid, zealous and cruel. That's not a very good combo. No. And they like the Pope more than me, so Ambitious I'm not getting temper. any... Uh, At least he's craven about it. Church Island. What's with all the strong popes? Like seriously. Oh, I remember, yeah, like all the big leaders, the Sultan and the King of Sweden and everything, are all like strong. I'm surrounded by strong people. Yeah. Let's look at this colorful mess that is Europe. What are we supposed to do? Big land seems okay. Ireland is uniting slowly. Slowly but surely. Byzantine Empire is eating everyone up. Yeah. It's gonna be like Umayyad versus Byzantine. Yep. It's, it's Umayyad v Byzantine. 
Look at this. Oh my god. Is he the bison fly? And then there's a little bit of Europe. A little mercy I might unite uh, England. If they can beat Northumbria. It's gonna be a Mercia versus Northumbria battle for England. And then Moo Moo. That is. Powerful Moo Moo. Powerful Moo Moo. Oh my god. If only Charlemagne did what he had to do. He had one job, damn it. Yeah, England is following the normal pattern. Pickland is following the normal pattern. <coughs> yes, the pattern of chaos. But, but France just wanted to do something different, and off it went. Good news, my lord. We have credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag. Get on my horse. Hey, Bramanox! How are you doing? Hey, Bramanox. What is the dynasty challenge? Do you care to explain? It is a challenge thought up by us, and it's really nothing complicated, but it's very hard to do. <laughs> you have to play... I keep forgetting the stupid numbers of the year, so... You have to play the same dynasty and keep it alive <clears throat> from the very, very first start of C Crusader Kings 2. Which is 769. All the way till the end of Europe Universalis 5, I think. 4. Four. Which is Almost. 1821, <laughs> so a slight bit over a thousand years of, of dynasty. With the same family. If yes. one of us loses the family name, we're game over, we have to try again. Yes, we, have, we, have, we both need to survive the entire timeline. Which is harder than it sounds. <laughs> Especially at this moment when Charlemagne did not manage to unite Europe. And the uh, the infidels are marching onward. Yeah, they're digging in. They're having a ball. Yeah. If Charlemagne would have united Europe, everything would be fine. And I am now right here. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, and there. I used to own all of this. But the Umeya took it away from me and the Byzantines. And Astral Seer is right over here. Yeah. Doing his thing, but he also he owned this too, and he just kind of got sliced in half. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's a challenge, all right. It it sounds well. I guess it's quite quite doom. I mean, it, what makes it harder is that we both have to survive. I mean, if the one is doing well and the other is going down like a disaster, like I'm going down like the Titanic right now, then you know I'm. Losing the challenge for both of us. Yeah, and what makes it it uh, hard is that Charlemagne didn't do his job. <laughs> I was like, I'll just play to lose. I'll be fine with the French Emperor on my back. But <laughs> nope, that one didn't go. It was something like giving everyone in your dynasty as much land and titles as possible here. Well, mo most of my dynasty is in the Sultan's prisons, rotting away. Right, how are my vessels these days? Uh, my vessels are good. My gold is prepped, though. Also, I'm not the most skillful player. <laughs> I don't play this game quite often enough. You like me enough. Oh. Doing the best I can, and Astral's helping me out. And Chet is helping me out. All the helpings out. We have more money, we have more troops. I am going to war. To war? I have decided to go to war. And whilst the war is going on, go back to Constantinople and make the Emperor happy. It is 20th of June, 860. Oh, and also, um, to add to the challenge, I am keeping two saves because of uh, safe corruption, but we're not reloading. So it is technically Iron Man mode as well. Yeah, if one of us goes down, we just start over. It's like done. Challenge is done. Yes. 
if you want to see more happening, it's probably the best thing to watch us both at the same time. Which I will now put a link for in chat. Multi Twitch dot TV slash Astrosier slash book Also we both read each other's chat at the same time, so we can hear ya at any point. You wanna see some Venice getting smashed. Now would be a good time to join. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you want to see some action, go over to Astral Seers. Because me at the moment. I'm just uh, waiting this one out. I'm going to go for. Um, uh, which one was it again? Kionev. Once the Umayyad are done doing their <laughs> thing over there. Da -da -da -da. Strong too? Why does everyone get to trade strong but us? RNG is not in our favor in this game. It is as if the game smelled that we wanted to do this challenge and just threw everything at us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, oh, you won the challenge? Here you go. Charlemagne will unite Europe. Good luck! Up you go! No game, I'm just a noob. <coughs> Lix. It is terrible. Going to work <coughs> on my stream stuff. Nice. Later, Magnus. Thanks for dropping by. See ya, Magnus. Thanks for seeing her. Good luck. Stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's still me on the same page again. Must be a sibling thing. It's a. Uh, it's actually a pretty interesting idea. Oh, oh my god! No, my guy died. And now I'm playing an underage guy. Again. <laughs> I need I need some time to regroup here. Oh no, I'm not I'm not playing an underage guy. My, the underage guy is my heir. Okay, cool. Hold on. I'm 43. That's not too terrible. I'm You've got this, Astro. Ooh, and everyone hates me. <laughs> and I'm at war because I just started a war. Perfect. We were just talking about that RNG. Yes. You may have jinxed this. I might be able to finish it though. I'm gonna try. You are definitely the one gonna be educated by me. Alright. I have new allies to call in though. I'm gonna try. Alright. Might as well. We're all in now. We're all in now. Um, Sink or swim. The minus 100 guy, though. I don't think a honorary title is going to matter much to a minus 100 guy. Mm, no. Hey, Silent. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Silent Willow. It's Friday, so I'm not writing now. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked by Umayyad. And I'm getting my ass kicked by a succession right in the middle of a wall. <laughs> We're doing very well on this challenge, as you can hear. But, my wife is pregnant. Okay, so please don't let it not be a boy. Because then seriously, my heir just becomes my heir no longer, and my heir will be a zero-year-old kid. Okay, you 
and your blood. That's fine. Bunkin! Yo! Yo, Bunkin, what up? Yes, I see this. Got all the chats open. We're in all the chats! Alright, you will finish these guys off. You. Got my general. That is one angry looking camel. It looks like something out of Star Wars, I have to say. Something out of Star Wars. Yes, yeah, seriously, like the. Oh, I don't even know what that beast is called, but <laughs> it looks like it. Or that dinosaur from uh, Ark. Ah, and once again, the Emperor hates me. Alright, naval land. This will hurt on the morale, but... Uh, I lost Lemuzan. Oh, this is terrible. He had him! I will terrible. kill him with my bare hands! He had to spy. Can't risk getting killed now. I'll end up in a regency! At least I have no factions against me, that's that's fine. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow, the lower crown authority in the Byzantine Empire is growing. We might still see a low crown authority, which would give me opportunities to expand within. If you live to see that day, yes indeed. I will live. The question is, will you? Yeah, I'll live too, but I'm not able to do a lot. <laughs> Especially if my wife, if my wife seriously gets a son now, things are gonna take friggin' ages because he will become my heir at the age of zero. Although I could be have him as my ward, and I can make him a spy master. Extraordinaire. Ooh, the Emperor has uh, withdrawn my order for expelling the Jews. The Emperor didn't agree with me expelling all the Jews. <laughs> Let's become a businessman, shall we? We can do it. Oh, one more year. I can wait. Please be pregnant, please. I should pull you out of the army. I can't pull you out of the army we're sieging. <laughs> we got this all so figured out. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> also, I hate my emperor. We got this. Just fire the lower crown authority faction, please. Basilius Leon the fifth of the Byzantine Empire. He is ill. Yes. His heir is Prince Theophilus. Oh, no wonder that the uh, he's he's already the heir. No wonder the lower crown authority faction is so high now. And if he's ill and dies again, and another succession crisis follows swiftly, we might be able to see some. Uh, some Byzantine Empire falling apart. That would be nice. Oh, the king is trying to conquer Limousin back. Go king. Barrel Chapuis is now of legal age. Oops, too many. Throughout the day you've caught yourself grinding your teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly you realize why you have been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy people in your presence anymore. I'll get him to be less slothful when I'm around. Cassandra Shepi loses respect against this chick. No, I don't want to be stressed right now. And Beryl, <coughs> the bat. My family's hunchback bastard. <laughs> it's 